This new tier zero Yu-Gi-Oh deck It's unbeatable, bro. It is literally pendulum level. It is pendulum without the scales Guys, if you want to see the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh deck arguably in history Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. This is gonna blow your guys mind. I got four replays for you guys you guys need to prepare for this it is absolutely insane before we get into this video though guys make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to smash the like button as well and 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 guys sadly there's no more playmats available on the website but i got good news pendulum patreon baby i am taking this patreon to a whole new level you might be wondering why there's not a lot of Yu -Gi -Oh pendulums on the channel recently it's because i'm going all out on patreon i'm spending so much work and effort on my patreon to make it absolutely insane so go check out the patreon right now to learn how to play pendulums like the pen god with that being said let's get straight into this video this deck might oh my this deck will blow your guys mind it's truly unbeatable tier zero if you're not playing this deck next format you're gonna auto lose let's go we're gonna have four different replays against two of my boys match two match one and match two will be against my boy denier match who is typically number i'm pretty sure he's number one on dueling book right now with 1430 rating and the other match will be against my boy Jib, who it got the best bakery in the game, baby. Let's go. First things first, you might be wondering what deck am I playing? I'm playing Splite. Splite is truly unreal, okay? You look at a hand like this, it's just unbeatable. It doesn't matter what hand my opponent has, it doesn't matter. We're playing against Sword Soul. Sword Soul is a known meta deck right now. A lot of you Master Duel players are having trouble beating this deck in Master Duel. Well, heh. <laughs> I don't know you guys have trouble with that. He's playing around the Nibiru here. It's very well, very well played here because he's playing around the Nibiru. He has a Call by the Grave, DD Crow, Veiler, and a Shishao. Played around the Nibiru. This is really well played. This is really well played because he's playing around all these cards. This is very well played from him. And so our Nibiru is just dead. We don't even have the Nibiru to play with. That's fine. We're going to go Diva Effect. He's going to negate the Diva. That's fine. Effect of Blue. We're going to let that one resolve. Next, I'm going to go into Sky Cavalry. Because I want to get rid of this to get rid of the call by the grave. So I'm going to go into Zeus right away. I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to go to Zeus. He changed Valor and I changed Zeus one more time. So now it seems like it's all gone. Then I go Splite Starter. Just like that. I got rid of his whole field. All he has left is one DD Crow. I special a Splite Red because Splite Red can now negate uh, any single monster effect he might potentially have. And I just play freely. Look at this. How is this even legal? How is this legal? I just beat a Shisha of Valor. And a call by the grave, and I'm not even remotely done my turn yet. I didn't even go into Gigantic Splite yet. I go into Splite Elf first. I go into this first because I want to play around more hand traps. Target Diva, it gets DD Crowed. I'm left. I cleared this whole board. I have a Splite Red, I have a Splite Carrot, and I have a Splite Smashers. Like, this is insane. Like, this is, I have Nibiru, I have all these free negates. I have Splite Elf to give me an incredible follow-up. Tier Elements is going to get clapped to this deck. I think Tier Elements is amazing as well. I'm going to put this down so you can see the names of some of these cards. Not names, but the pictures. Like, this is insane. Actually, I lied. I'm not going to do that because of the blue thing. Okay. Yeah, if you could just edit that out, Luke. Uh, We're going to put Splite Carrot and Splite Red here. A Sword Soul Emergence is the only card my opponent has. We're going to negate that. And then Resolution, we're going to use Splite Elf Effect to Special Pack Splite Red. Then our turn, Splite Jet. Look, 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 look. One Splite Jet. Look what this does. Splite Jet. Special add. Special add. Special add. Special add. Special again. Special again. How is this legal? It's just like, it, it seems like the craziest thing about this too is not even the fact that uh, it, it's a deck. Look, I have Triple Hand Trap. I have Ash Ogre Imperm. All you need is two cards to play. Any two level twos. And any two level twos equals full combo. Any two level twos is full combo. It's just absurd. Emergence. We're going to Ash. He's going to pass. We're going to go Prosperity. Sadly, he Ashes. And we have no other play here. I, I do not agree with pros Ashing Prosperity. But his scenario was this. You know, I have no play. I need to take a chance here to Ash the Prosperity and hope that it's enough. So that's understandable. And sadly, we had this. So that's okay. We have all hand traps. We're safe. He passes, knowing that I have hand traps. Yeah, well, he has Vessel as well. There's not many plays in the Nibiru, though. Here, I'm going to Prosperity. I can only Prosperity for three. I get Splite Blue, and the rest is history. I have three hand traps in my hand. And look now what one Splite, what Splites can offer. Look at this. I only have two Splites. Nothing else. Nothing crazy. Just two Splites. Effect the Special. Special Swap. He can't even Nibiru me. He literally cannot Nibiru me. He is not allowed to Nibiru me. This is insane. He's literally, he cannot Nibiru me because of the fact of Gigantic Splite. It's unreal. Is actually insane. Here we're gonna go into Splite Elf, special out uh, this. I I cannot special this gigantic Splite. 
I'm not able to special the gigantic split because he has no monsters in the field. I was playing around DD Crow because I know he has, might have DD Crow. Otherwise, I could go special swap frog, swap frog, send swap frog, swap frog, special running toad, and get have a totally awesome. Nonetheless, the gigantic split is illegal. I should not have summoned it. So I would have a split jet here. I did not want to target the swap to go to toad because I felt he had a DD Crow because he had cards in his hand. I knew he had a Nibiru because he was a little question, like iffy because of the card. Like I'm getting bodied by the XYZ right now. That's telltale sign that he has Nibiru. So I just did opted not to swap because I have triple hand trap. I have like so I have split starter, which will play around Dark Ruler by summoning a carrot on his on his turn. I just let it go and there's no answer. It wins. Insane. Like it is insane. It's a huge they randomly just have a way to stop Nibiru, which is uh, just for free, which is crazy. Tell me a better hand than this. Triple hand trap, diva, swap frog. Absolutely amazing hand. So all we're missing is a is a any uh splight to make this uh, absolutely insane. He specials out here. All I want to make sure is that my he, he has Baxia. So he's attempting to play on the Nibiru. I'm forced to hand trap the Baxia because all my hand traps are light. So I'm gonna go Soger the Baxia. He changed call, but I'm forced to veil the Baxia to make sure my nib resolves. Normal Moye resolution nib. See ya. Three hand traps. Ogre, Veiler, Nib. Full combo on my hand. He bounces it back. Doesn't matter. Effective Diva. Special Splite Red. GG. It's over. I could have also... I probably should have Special Swap Frog over the Diva. That probably would have been a better scenario for me. Add Splite Starter. Go Nightmare Cerberus. The, the deck does have issues popping boards. But this is still enough. Swap Frog. Send Ron in. I'm going to attack with these. He's up with... He has Taye, Ashina... And he has Adhara and Grave. I go Splite Starter. Special attack that again. At this scenario, I don't know what happened with the Swap Frog. Yeah, I probably should have been able to put up a, a Toad. But I, I maybe mishapped slightly with that. I have an Ibiru in my hand. So he goes Ecclesia. This is where I, I make a little mistake. I let him attack my Splite Elf. This was a misplay. I should have main phase Special Jet add Starter. By using Splite Starter, you're always going to have a follow-up no matter what. Because Splite Starter it equals plus 5 by the end of the combo. So it's very important. He goes Moye. At this point, I'm, I'm kind of cooked just because of that scenario. I Splite Red Negate. He goes Taye. I'm like, oh man. But I have Nibiru. But nonetheless, like this is still a bad scenario for us. He goes Shishao. I'm going to have to let him go into Long Yuan. He's in a good scenario. I Nibiru now. And now he's in a good scenario because he still has all his Tenny access. So I definitely misplayed. Not, like, because I had Nibiru, I could have literally waited this whole time. That, that was my error. Here, he's going to go into Baxia. He's going to shuffle this back because he doesn't want me in the field. I go Swap Frog, Special Run in. And then, of course, like an absolute legend, we draw blue. We don't even need blue. All we need here is any level 2 that we have in the deck. Any level 2 does it because you get access to the whole gigantic Splite, uh, splite Elf, everything. And now, look, just like that, just one card alone. Just one card alone will lead to all this. And this is going to be game. I can't Zeus after. I don't want to do that, but this is just game. We're going to bring everything else out. Uh, I do some calculations because it is tough for this deck to out uh, everything. I go Toad. I go Sky Cavalry. I'm going to bounce that back. I have to keep the token. Uh, and then because of uh, Splite Elf, it protects Dupe and Toad. It's just amazing, bro. Like, he can't out anything. And he has to attack the Dupe. And it's just GG, bro. This is like, this deck's unstoppable. This is like, like, no matter, like, we had no cards. Like, did you guys see? Look at my board. I had like six, I have multiple in the gates. I had set six cards. I only had one card. I started my turn with no cards in the field, top decking. I started my turn with zero cards in the field, top decking. And I ended with six cards, three of which were in the gates. Absolutely unreal. We're, so he's going to bring this out. So he's played through Ash and Imperm. Uh, very well done on his end. But Ash Imperm is going to only lead him to Long Yuan. And that's just not going to be enough. He gets a good follow up. And look at this Imperm. <laughs> dupe splite like this is just amazing this is just amazing we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna zeus we're gonna splite starter like look at this look what splite starter leads to look at what splite starter leads to bro this is unreal like this is so insane like this deck is just unbeatable we special out the ronnie uh, 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 a toad boom nothing he can do nothing he can do we're gonna special get value we're gonna banish this he's gonna ashina we're gonna negate that it's just game this deck is truly insane, man. I'm going to show you guys another replay now where this replay is now going to be against uh, facing my boy Jibriel, where this is going to be somewhat of a mirror match. He is also playing Splite, but he is going to be playing a very cool version of Splite. And this is going to be uh, Splite, uh, Splite Tri-Brigade because a bunch of the Tri-Brigades are level 2. So the synergy is actually really, really good. 
Uh, here we saw a starter. He ashes, but it's just not enough. We're going to play elf. We're going to set up a board of carrot, uh, red, elf, imperm, smashers. We're in a good scenario. He goes to play starter, chains droplet. I'm like, shit, this is <laughs> very sad here. Uh, and then we're going to negate some of this. He goes splite blue. I think he's playing pure splite at this point. Then he goes splite jet. I'm like, we're going to veil of this. And then we're going to uh, use this to uh, add a jet to get a follow up. And then he hits us with splite. Uh, the second one, that's on the go. I know I'm going to splite smasher banish. I just wasted imperm veiler smashers for two car two splite cards. And the crazy thing is he still has tanky. Now you guys, I'm sure you see how actually insane this deck is. Like, he just used three cards. He baited every single one of my starter cards of my interruption, like five interruptions, just with splite cards. And I want you guys to really see this because he didn't even use his normal summon. This is just insane, bro. Like, this is actually crazy that he was able to do this so easily. He sets a revolt. I'm like, I'm going to normal carrot to negate it. He sees it right away. He bounces it. I go splite starter, splite blue. I'm going to have to add. And then add splite jet. And then he goes revolt. I'm like, shit, this is not good for us. Uh, he summons five times, so I'm going to summon Nibiru. And I'm going to have to just hope that we survive to the following turn. And uh, allow to Carrot and Jet. And uh, so we'll see what happens. He has Splite Kit. See the follow-up here, bro? These Splite cards are actually wild. Like, they're just so powerful and so good. It's just so difficult to defeat this deck, man. Like, this, it's such a powerful, powerful, powerful deck. Splite Elf, bring back Splite Blue. This is why, too. Like, he just had one card. Now, because of the Splites, look at this. Because of the Splites, he has a billion actually like insane bro actually insane and i'm just gonna fast forward the rest of the way my mans has five defensive cards you guys see how good gamma is right there or gamma stopped the swap frog he has too many defensive cards and now it's just game over for him it's just not going to be enough we're gonna go split elf this just doesn't matter we're gonna go split elf summon swap swap summon that bring a run in told we're gonna attack and then sadly we get hit with a dark ruler he draws the kit specials blue look at this one two I just I forget just forgot to summon this as a standby uh, starter like all this value splite I'm gonna go told I just gonna negate to get swap frog I can't even Nibiru now now I'm not even allowed to Nibiru anymore I'm not allowed to Nibiru but what I tried to do I wanted to just use told so I could add this before he gets a monster negate out so I could just add the swap frog this deck's actually like unbeatable bro like like no cap this deck's actually unbeatable it's so difficult to defeat it's such a good deck and he, he's cooking me right now guys he's cooking me. Uh, but all hope is not lost, okay? All hope is not lost. He has, I know he has a revolt, but look, now you guys are going to see how crazy Splite is. Like, the, it just keeps going and going. I go swap to summon Ronin, so I can go totally awesome. So he bounces back to Ronin. I special Splite Jet. I add Splite Starter. He goes revolt. I'm like, all right, that's fine. He summons four times this time, so my nib is still dead. He's still playing around the nib. Uh, banish out the Swap Frog. I'm like, this is still fine. Norm, I got, uh, normal, boom. I got Sky Cavalry. I'm going to Zeus his whole board away. Do you see this? Like, like this is just like two kingpins dueling each other with how good these decks are. Like, if you're not playing this deck, you're losing. That's how absurd this is. Then I go Splite Starter, Splite Blue. Like, this is actually in truly insane. Uh, truly insane, bro. He Ashes. I go Splite Red. It doesn't matter. Summon out Splite Elf. Then he top decks Dark Ruler. I'm like, I am sick. I just cleared his entire board. Ended on this negates and he has jet and kit. I'm like, I'm literally sick to my stomach. I cannot believe this. The back and forth of this match is insane. He goes mannequin cat because he's able to special a free kit, I believe. No, he wants to get Zeus and his spite starter in hand. So he Zeus's the whole board away. And then at this point, I'm like, I'm gonna wait a little bit. He goes spite blue. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I want him to commit. I want him to commit. And then the second he's uh, the resolution of spite blue, I nib. Look at this back and forth. Absolutely insane. I have no follow-up in my graveyard right now. I really need to see a level, a level two. Prosperity. Let's fucking go. I literally banished six. I'm like, I need to see a card here. Splite starter. Oh my god. This deck actually cannot lose. Absolutely insane deck, bro. Like literally insane. Blue jet G G. Oh my god. We're now gonna go on to game number three. Like this, the mirror match against against each other is just so insane. Uh, he has D-Barrier, Ash, Valor. So I'm like, okay, let's go. We got this. We got We go Splite. Very genius play here. He goes D-Barrier at this point. I'm like, that's fine. I Splite Starter. Oh, then he got my ass with the Ash Blossom. I'm like, oh, this is not good. I attacked it just so I could see what it is. Losing 400. I don't care. Uh, he draws into Solemn. He summons these out. I could Ash at any time. I could Ash right there, right? 
but I don't because he could just go elf bring on jet I want to save my ash literally for revolt this is literally what I'm doing here I'm saving my ash. like this match is insane this match is truly crazy I'm saving my ash blossom literally for revolt I'm saving it so well I'm like bro I'm so like I can't believe I'm saving it this well he pops this and I ash then I'm like good no revolt all I got to deal with now is just this card and I didn't know he had solemn judgment I'm like all I got to deal with just this one card okay so uh I normal summon run in it uses this to bounce I chain splite smashers to banish so now his follow-up is gone so he has no follow-up and then main phase he goes splice smart I'm like I lose oh my god I lost what an incredible match we're gonna show one quick one right now this is gonna be the last match I'm gonna show you guys see how insane that is like like it's just truly incredible how deck this is like, like if you're not playing this deck you're gonna lose i understand people love tier elements but the ishizu card that makes your elements insane uh are not gonna be released right away at pot uh he, he couldn't zeus because of spite starter oh my god i would have won so he used spite starter i didn't even realize that he zeused after didn't he start her after i think he might have started afterwards so maybe we should have win that duel but that's fine look at this so he imperms this i'm like that's fine i'm gonna summon out ronin and you're gonna go mascarina uh, this version I play Masquerade and Apollosa. In my updated version, I do not. In my updated version, I do not. Uh, but it doesn't matter. So uh, I'm going to show you guys my updated version at the end of the video. So here you're going to go into Kit. He has Keras as well. At this point, I'm like, when should I hand trap? I go Veiler. I'm like, all right, this game. We're going to go to the next game over now. Uh, this is just crazy. Like, if you're not playing the mirror, you just auto loot. Look at his hand. Three splite cards. Look, I have three hand traps. Ash, right? He summons. I'm going to have to Mourner that. Use that. I Imperm. He splite starter. Are you kidding me? I have three hand traps and he's still playing that is absurd that is actually like insane look at this this is actually wild he goes splite starter to bring out uh uh carrot to negate a spell i go ash four hand traps by the way and then there's just nothing i can do like this deck's crazy <laughs> This deck is actually insane. You guys have to play. This deck's unbeatable. Literally unbeatable. Unless you play the mirror. So now we're going to go Prosperity. I'm like, oh, yo, I lost the first match. I can't lose the second one. Uh, I go Prosperity. I'm going to get Jet here. Now, this is the most beautiful type of hands, okay? I have Swap and I have Splite Jet. Look at this. Swap effect. Send Ron in. Special Jet. Ash. All right. Go into Splite Elf. Imperm. No problem. Swap effect. Make Gigantic Splite. Splite effect. Special Swap. Swap. Send Swap. Effect, bring out Ronin, uh, just like that, easy. I got hand trap twice. Still end on Toad, and still end on three hand traps. So I'm gonna bring out Dupe, he's gonna go Tanky. I thought he had Droplet, okay? Because he was in the standby phase for a long time. So he was in the standby phase for a long time. So I thought he had Droplet. So I'm like, all right. So I, I Tanky that right away, so he can't Droplet the Tanky later. He summon, and I have three hand traps, so I could use Toad uh, like that. He goes Karis, Blue, look at his hand. It's Karis, Blue, Jet, holy shit. I Ash, Jet, I Veiler, Mannequin Cat, Ghost Ogre. I Ghost Ogre it, and there's no play, because it can't summon. GG. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the very last game. This is our third match. He goes Splite, I go Veiler, he goes Foolish. Like, this is Veiler, Veiler, Ash. He's still playing around it. Veiler, Ash, like, this. we've been playing around double hand traps in all of our matches in this mirror match, and it's just insane. Look, Splite Elf, bring on Karis. Karis, bring a revolt like oh my god i'm sick this deck's insane so here i go diva right diva special diva this is where pure is just way better in my opinion you go splite blue you go splite jet i swap frog specials it's just unbeatable it's just unbeatable we end up winning the matches let's go this is the deck profile absolutely amazing what i love about this deck the most is that it's so pure the, these 18 cards you see over here from one second yeah the 18 cards let me just reorganize this a little bit all right the 18 cards that you guys see uh at the from splite blue splite jet splite starter part of prosperity diva and swap frog all these 18 cards are starters one card starters one card starter full combo 18 of them that's absurd okay the other three you see over here are mandatory to play one of each one ron and one carrot one red so that's 21 cards that are like kind of mandatory and now these are the four that I side out all the time. Just so you guys are aware of the siding pattern. I would I main two red and two carrot because against backer decks, I think you would like two carrot. And then one uh dupe frog is very nice. And then one smashers. Going second, I remove these four. I remove these four for whatever double of these that I like in the matchup. Uh it's a, potentially you might want to play three E Telly and maybe a gamma 
in this deck it's just gamma going first will be useless the only card that's actionable is starter and maybe prosperity but not really so i don't really like gamma for that purpose because going first it could just be dead uh but yeah that's it and you just play 15 hand traps on post side you're playing 19 hand traps imagine playing a deck post side that we have 19 hand traps that are all meta relevant they all obliterate the meta and it's just crazy double totally awesome is an option uh but it doesn't really come up because splite elf can always special back to totally awesome a lot of people play two elf and two splite but i believe you should play three and three at the very minimum you should be playing three splite elf splite elf it just summons everything back from the grave it's better way better than gigantic splite this card is so absurdly broken i uh, don't think you guys understand it's better it's so good and then for the grind game you got these only link twos you play is cerberus and phoenix uh, it comes they both come up a lot because right after you just make elf or splite with them and uh yeah as my boy godzilla says splite elf is a link to Celine. amazing card absolutely broken card uh if you don't play needle fiber because there's no maxi to add back and it's a waste of a card it's a win more uh i use every card in this extra deck a lot the third splite could the third gigantic splite could potentially potentially be um another card maybe a mascarena or a, and a unicorn but it just never comes up all these are good to play one because javelin is important to play one digin buster is important to play one gaki is important to play against trap decks like torrential one sky cavalry and these it's really really powerful it's the side deck absolutely amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video in my opinion this deck is, is absolutely broken literally virtually unbeatable unless you're playing the mirror match i truly think this deck's unbeatable if you're, if you're not playing the mirror match you can't beat it it's absolutely insane so if you guys like this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. If you guys got this far, man, even check out as well. Check out the Patreon, like I said. There's going to be so much amazing content on Patreon, uh, Pendulum related as well, that I highly advise. You're going to be putting a lot of effort into Patreon. So go check it out and don't miss out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys. 100 days of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! We're like day eight in and videos every day. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.